In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Crossword Compiler to export an interactive puzzle and then upload it onto your own WordPress site. This is not the simplest way of making an interactive web puzzle. If you just want to get a puzzle quickly on the web, you can click this button on the toolbar and this will export an interactive web puzzle to the included hosting site and it will be uploaded immediately. Just follow the steps and the instructions. So see the basic video about making interactive web puzzles for that. This video is about if you have your own website with your own WordPress specifically site and about how to upload puzzles using that. So here I have a completed puzzle. So the first thing to do is to export files from Crossword Compiler as you want them. So you go to File, Web Export, Export to Files. So this will save interactive files onto your computer, which you can then upload into your WordPress website. The Export Interactive Puzzle window has various options that you can use to choose how you want the applet to work. So you can include buttons, for example, about whether you want to allow people to cheat by viewing the solution or not, or you can use applet options and change various things about the display layout, the buttons, the colors, and so on. So once you've selected what you want, just click export web page, and then you can save the files anywhere on your computer. So here I've made a folder called exported web puzzles under my documents. By default, it will give it the same name as your puzzle file. So that's fine. I'm just going to call it American Demo and click Save. OK, so at this point, we've now exported the files to our computer. And it tells you here which files have been exported. If you want to check it, you can do that immediately. Just click View Page and it will load the puzzle on your computer. Here we are. That looks OK. It's loaded nicely. I can move around the grid. Click, things look fine. So you can close that window, and then what you need to do is go to your WordPress website and upload the puzzle. In order to do that, you want to install a plugin. So if you haven't already installed the Crossword Compiler WordPress plugin, you need to do that first. To do that, go to Plugins on the WordPress menu and click Add New. If you then search the plugins for Crossword Compiler, you should find the Crossword Compiler Puzzles plugin. Click Install Now. That should install your plugin, which is fairly quick. And then you also need to click Activate to make it actually active and working. Here I've got WordPress 5 and I'm using the default block editor. If you've got the classic editor installed instead, things will look slightly different. So if you want to make a new post and include your crossword, now what you need to do is go to posts, add new. And this will start a blank page. So you can edit this page, including as many things as you like as normal. So my first puzzle title or something. You can add any other containing text you want, but to insert the puzzle itself, you click this plus button here, add block. Here you can see crossword because I've used it before. If you can't see the crossword one, just click type crossword in here, it will search for it and bring it up. So that's the one you want. And there are two methods you can use for uploading a puzzle. The first one, URL, is if you've already uploaded the puzzle to the crossword info included website hosting that comes with the program. So that will happen if you'd used it immediately, the upload button in Crossword Compiler. So here I haven't done that. I've saved separate files, which I'm going to upload. So I want to select from here, local file. So here you just have to choose the HTML file and the JS file that was exported when you exported from Crossword Compiler. So click Choose File under HTML File and navigate to your Documents folder, Exported Web Puzzles, and select the HTML file. So here it's got the 
icon of my browser, which is Chrome. It may look slightly different if we're using a different browser. Click open. And then you need to choose the JS file, which is this other file here. Click open. This crossword compiler app folder you do not need for the WordPress puzzles. That's handled automatically by the plugin. So we've now selected the two files that the plugin needs, and you can click OK, and that will upload the files to your site. So you don't see it immediately, but you do see this crossword placeholder here. So when you view to the site later, that will become the crossword. You can add other things under here if you want to, add other pictures, other text, whatever you like, just like any other WordPress page. Just allow for the fact that this is going to become your puzzle, which may take up a significant amount of space. Once you've finished your web page, you just publish the page as usual on your WordPress site. So click Publish, Publish immediately. Yes, that's all fine. Updating, View Post. And there I have my page, my first puzzle which has the interactive puzzle in it, and it's working correctly. If you want to add another puzzle, you just export it from Crossword Compiler in exactly the same way and add it to a new WordPress page. Here I exported to files first and then uploaded them to WordPress. If instead you've already exported using the default options to an interactive web page, this is what that would look like on the included crossword.info web hosting site. If you've already got the puzzle here, you can just copy the URL of the puzzle. And then instead of using the file option to upload into WordPress, you can just type the URL in instead, and it will pull the information from this web page. You'll end up with exactly the same result. But unless you also want to include it on the crossword.info website, usually it's easier to export files first. And then also you can check the puzzle on your local computer before uploading. Note that if you upload to WordPress on your own site, you can't use the mark or submit buttons because they require extra processing on the website itself, which you won't typically have on your website. If you want to use the mark or submit buttons, it's better to upload to the included crossword.info web hosting site where that's all built in for you. And that's all there is to uploading puzzles to a WordPress website.